waited my entire life for this. The world's gonna start over. I'm gonna burn it all. What happens now determines what happens to the rest of the world. The revolution will be live. live. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video and today we are talking about no other than... You guessed it, the Black Panther. Now listen, if you haven't seen this movie, pause this video, you need to go and watch it. I'll wait, don't worry, go see it now, it's great. Carry your friends, carry your family, I'll be right here. Let's go! Today I'll sing you a black song you need to hear about beautiful black things. Cause most time we hear about black, we hear about black magic and black witches. Black list, black book, black market, black Friday, you spend off your black witches. I've never seen a doctor. Now, I've been meaning to make this video for quite some time, but I said, you know what, let me give people some time to go out and see it. It's absolutely crazy. The rush at the theatres is unbelievable. I myself, I had to go two or three times to try and get it, try and see it. Um, the first time I went, it was sold out. The second time it was sold out, I was like, yo, what is happening? So my friends and I, we bought tickets like days in advance and then we finally went back and got to see the movie but trust me it is totally worth the wait it was totally worth the up and down the movie is <laughs> it's amazing so now that you've seen it we can sit and we can talk about all the great things that happened in it but if you're anything like me one thing caught your attention tell me was it not michael b jordan's hairstyle tell me i'm wrong michael plays the role of eric killmonger and does a phenomenal job at executing that character he evokes feelings from the audience throughout the movie i mean early up you absolutely hated his disgustingly pompous ways and later on at the end of the movie you sort of understand where all of this hate came from all of this negative energy but really was just him trying to get revenge for his father's death and uh yeah you just have to applaud him but like i said his hair his hair caught my eyes and the reason why is because there are some dreadlocks involved and this journey that's what we're talking about so i've been looking all over the internet and there are a bunch of threads about um, how Michael did this. Uh, there's one on Reddit that's pretty popular. And I went ahead and I did the research for you guys to bring that information in case you want to do something similar with your hair. All right. So the lead hairstylist for the movie Black Panther is a lady, Camille Friend. You can see her Instagram, her link is in the description below. But she was responsible for getting everyone's hair ready for the movie. So all the main characters, um, all the Phil characters, everyone, that was her department. And when it came to Killmonger, they wanted to do something special, something that was African based, but it was sort of modern, something that people would want to adopt and um, go out and do for themselves. And clearly, this is exactly what is happening because people all over the world are trying to do this hairstyle. So here's what they did, here's what um, all the work that went into creating this look. Before I get into that, however, I want to give you some brief background information on Michael with regards to his hair. Now, the truth is, he is no stranger to having dreadlocks. In fact, he used to have really long locks when he was younger, um, in his younger acting days. And uh, as you can see from the pictures, Michael with dreadlocks then is completely different to what he looked like in The Black Panther. Now, for this movie, he grew his hair out about four or five inches. So he was really grooming his hair for some time before he actually um, started this, this dreadlock process. Now, according to Friend, they added dreadlock extensions to Michael's hair and they faded the sides. Um, after that, they braided his locks and they added a little crinkle and texture. And in the movie, you see Killmonger, he rocks his hair to the right side. So that was kind of his unique, distinct look. And um, yeah, that's basically what they did to to create this this now trending look. So guys, if you want to do something like this, if your hair is already growing out, you see, I have my hair growing. I don't know if I have five inches hair as yet. I haven't checked it in a while. But I mean, there you go. That's how it was done. Um, 
it's a really cool look like to be quite honest I could see people rocking this in 2018 well into the future so if that's your thing then hey, go on Wakanda forever as usual thank you so much for watching and if you haven't subscribed already be sure to hit the subscribe button for future content and listen we are approaching 200 subscribers now I know that might not seem like a big deal to you but to me it is a huge deal so I just want to say thank you to everyone for subscribing it means a lot to me and um, yeah so until the next one be safe and um, catch you guys later but this is not a racist song this is a song for the children